This display shows the Sims Climate Digest for September 2014, featuring highlights from the global analysis product issued each month by NOAA's National Climatic Data Center. The Climate Digest conveys a visual climate brief of recent conditions worldwide. September 2014's average global land and ocean temperature was the warmest September since records began in 1880. Parts of Pakistan and northern India experienced extreme flooding with over a foot of rain in the early part of the month. Over 400 fatalities were reported due to intense flooding. Over in France, the national mean temperature for the month was 1.6 degrees Celsius above the average. That makes September 2014 among the warmest of all Septembers since national records began in 1900. The UK had its dry September on record in its driest month since August of 1995. In the U.S., the United States Drought Monitor stated on September 30th that 30.6% of the contiguous U.S. was in drought. Conditions worsened for parts of Southern Plains, Southeast, and the Northeast. Both states of California and Nevada were nearly 100% in moderate to exceptional drought. Australia had its fifth warmest high temperature for September since records began in 1910. Western Australia had its warmest September maximum, Tasmania had its second highest, and Victoria its seventh highest on record. Two notable cyclones happened during the month of September. In the Atlantic, Hurricane Edward lasted from September 11th till the 19th. Edward's maximum wind speed reached 185 kilometers per hour and was the first major hurricane since Sandy in 2012. In the Pacific, Hurricane Odile had winds up to 215 kilometers per hour and lasted from September 10th till the 19th. Hurricane Odile tied with Olivia of 1967 as the strongest hurricane to make landfall in the Mexican state of Baja, California. This real-time data set is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from the average. Red portions of the map depict regions that experienced above average warmth. Blue portions of the map indicate below average temperatures and white indicates near average conditions. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures and red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. According to the NOAA Climate Prediction Center, there is a 2 in 3 chance of at least a weak El Nino developing during the months of October and November and lasting into the spring of 2015. This real-time data set, collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites, shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The September sea ice extent for the Arctic was 19% below the 1981 to 2010 average, which is the sixth smallest since satellite records began in 1979. Finally, we'll move to the Antarctic, where September 2014 was 6.6% .6 above the 1981 to 2010 average, making it the largest CS extent for the month of September and the largest for any month. And that's your September 2014 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.